Stop scrolling. What if I told you the chainsaw wasn't invented for cutting trees, but for childbirth? In the late 18th century, before modern C-sections, difficult births posed life-threatening challenges for both mother and baby. When a baby was stuck in the birth canal due to a narrow pelvis, doctors sometimes performed a procedure called symphysiotomy, cutting through the cartilage and bone of the pelvis to widen it and help deliver the baby safely. Originally, this was done with a small knife, which was slow, imprecise, and agonizing. In 1780, Scottish doctors John Aitken and James Jeffrey invented the first chainsaw, not the roaring engine-powered tool we know today, but a hand-cranked flexible saw with fine teeth designed specifically for this delicate surgery. This device made symphysiotomy faster and more precise, reducing some risks, though the procedure remained extremely painful and dangerous. Over the centuries, medical chainsaws evolved, and eventually the technology was adapted for woodcutting in the 20th century, transforming forestry and construction. So, the next time you see a chainsaw roaring through a tree, remember its origins lie not in the forest, but in the operating room, where it once saved lives in the most unexpected way. Like and subscribe.